Hi everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and sorry for my appearance. Uh, I have on foam rollers. It's my first time using foam rollers so I have a video on that coming very soon so stay tuned for that. But um, I just wanted to make this video right now because I felt inspired to do so right now and I just wanted to express myself, how I'm feeling. I didn't really want to plan it out. I didn't want to take notes. So this video was inspired by a young lady who left me a question on Instagram and she asked for me to post her question to get other people's opinions and advice and I did so I posted it on my Instagram story and um, you can check my page right now if you're watching this video the day I upload it then you can check it out right now it's still up in my story and basically her question was she wants to know if she should start her locks now or if she should wait because she's going to be applying for a dental school very soon so um, she wants to know if she thinks if um, she wants to know if it's best for her to just wait until she gets accepted and then do she, what she wants or if she should just go for it now so a lot of people who are responding are people who have experience as far as like you know less um, creative jobs I guess more um, corporate jobs are those people are responding with their input oh you know I I started my locks when I entered my field and it was not an issue or people are saying things like that and a lot of people are giving advice like um, yes go ahead start your locks now if you want to start your locks just make sure when you go to your interviews make sure you your hair is neatly styled or um, some people are even saying that if you know if it's that much of an insecurity just wear a wig on the day of your interview but definitely go through with your locks and that's all fair advice that's all good advice I would say the same thing but the reason why I'm making this video is because questions like that kind of bother me and they bother me because I see a larger issue and the larger issue to me is um, wanting acceptance from others and I feel like if your cons if your main concern is to get opportunities from people or to get accepted from people or if you want I don't know if you want any sort of outside validation and you are concerned that your locks may hinder that then I don't think that locks are for you at all and um and it bothers me because as black people in particular and i know i'm talking to a vast majority of black people right now who are watching this video and um it really bothers me when black people feel like they need to change who they are they need to mute their blackness or tone down their blackness to be accepted from outside people. When I want to say outside people, I mean white people for the most part. It's white people or um, um, gatekeepers, so to speak. You know, people who have the power to you know give you opportunities and um that bothers me when people seek those sorts of validations as black people because it's not 1950 anymore i don't know when madam cj walker came out with the hot comb and the perms i can't think of it on off the top of my head but it's not that time anymore where, you know, we did certain things to our hair in order to assimilate as a survival technique. You know, we, at the time, we straightened our hair and we, we permed it and we um, used a hot comb because it wasn't accepted for uh, otherwise 
you know, as far as, you know, getting jobs or as far as, um, you know, dealing with just dis dis discrimination walking down the street. It was for assimilation, which was for survival. And we're not at that time anymore where you need to change who you are culturally to be accepted and to get opportunities. And um, of course, you will in encounter certain um, gatekeepers who won't want you because of how loud your blackness is or because of how vibrant your black your blackness is and that's that does exist it's, it it does exist so however it's not that's not the only opportunity that you have we're at a time now where we're more accepted and not only are we more accepted but we're also um gatekeepers ourselves you know there are so many um black businesses there's so many black owners there's so many black schools there's so many um black institutions and um and not only black institutions but there's so many um diverse institutions there's so many even white institutions that aren't going to discriminate you for being black matter of fact a lot of times they want you because you're black you know for a quota or something but my point is that if you feel like you don't want to lock your hair because you don't feel like with locks you'll be able to get certain opportunities that you um, would get versus having um, straight hair or um, weave then I think that that is a more of a reflection of your own insecurity because um, like it or not your own perception is your own reality for instance Say, say you're walking down the street and you're saying hello to everyone you walk past and no one acknowledges you. No one says hello back to you. No one even looks at you. You may take that in as, oh wow, people are really rude. Or wow, like um, people really don't like me. Or wow, I'm, I'm ugly. I stink or whatever it is you may take it personal but maybe all it was is that they didn't see you they didn't hear you they were preoccupied you know what I mean and that's all it could have been but your own insecurities which create your own perception told you that the reason why they ignored you was because of something wrong with you and um i think that's something in general that we we need to consider just in general when it comes to like um how people treat you how people treat you is not necessarily a reflection of you i mean how people treat you is more so a reflection of them and their values and their morals and how they were raised and how they treat people. Maybe they had a bad day. They treated you poorly not because you deserve to be treated poorly. That's just where they were at at the moment. So I say all of that to say... I hope I'm not talking in circles. I hope that my point is sticking some at some point in this conversation but um basically what I'm trying to say is if you're fearful that getting locks is going to hinder your progress in the world 
in whatever way, whether that be with a romantic partner, with a uh, um, with your loved ones, your peers, employers, and things of that nature. If you feel like locks will hinder you in society in that way, then you have the wrong perspective. You have the wrong perception, and and you you probably will feel like they are a hindrance. That'll probably be your reality because that's your belief already. I know that um, going on a lock journey, I personally recommend it to people because it is able to, um, something about a lock journey, it's more than a hair journey. I wrote a book about it. it. It does open up your perspective on a lot of things and it makes you realize things about people and it makes you realize things about yourself as well and um in like an amazing way like you would never think that like your hair could like really shift your self-love like it's real check out my book by the way <laughs> but um i'm not trying to plug my book right now i'm really trying to make this point um Yeah, locks are not for everybody, especially if if your main concern is being accepted by other people. Because the easiest way to get accepted by people is by being just what they are, by conforming to what it is that they want to see or, or be. And the longer you do that, the more uncomfortable you'll feel. I strongly believe that the longer people don't face who they truly are, the longer people don't accept what it is they truly want from life, the longer you will be miserable. And, you know, it takes self-reflection, it takes you know introspection it takes um time active time you can't just not passive time like you have to actively be working towards you know bettering yourself and your mind and um and when you are you know in my opinion if you're truly you know, working on yourself and working on your mind, I don't think that you will be concerned about how other people perceive you. You know, I think that you would naturally attract um, the opportunities that are for you. And if you want locks, and get locks. And do so confidently. Do so with the confidence that you know people will see you for who you are and not for you know anything that they project onto you and um and if you're not ready or willing or able to really embrace who you are and what you want, you know? And in particularly, in particular, like if you're not ready to embrace, you know, who you are culturally, racially, black, your blackness. If you're not really ready to embrace that and wear it on your sleeve, I mean, of course you wear it on your sleeve, you, you're black, you can't hide that you're black. If you're not ready to do that, then you're probably not ready for locks. But that reminds me, like, you know, when you're on the phone with, like, um, a customer service rep or maybe um, a potential job, you know, who, you know, they didn't meet you yet, but they're calling you. And you change your accent to sound more um, racially ambiguous. You know, I mean, well, I know people change their accents for different reasons. Maybe you change your accent to sound, if you want to sound more intelligent. You know, I know personally, um, 
I speak using New York slang on a regular basis. I try not to use my New York slang too much when I make my videos on here because I know everyone's not from New York. Y'all not all gonna understand what I'm saying. And um, also, I feel like I, not always, but sometimes I feel like I, I, um, you know, I try to speak where my accent isn't as strong. I know probably some of y'all gonna be like, what are you talking about? Like your accent is mad strong. But sometimes, I'm consciously, you know, trying to to be palatable um, for people all over for y'all to understand me and receive me. But it's not because I'm doing it so that I can, you know, be more mainstream or less black, you know, and... Um, Being black is a large part of my identity, so if I were to be doing that, I wouldn't be authentic and I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be comfortable in the long run. So, um, so yeah, keep that in mind when you're, you know, on the phone with like, you know, a potential job, you know, and you want to sound less black so that you can get your foot in the door. Do you really want your foot in the door where you're more attractive because you're less black? Do you think that you would truly be comfortable there in the long run? Think about it. But yeah, um, I think I've made my point. Yeah. So, um, leave a comment below. Um, I'm pretty sure most of y'all would agree with me. But, um, yeah. <laughs> leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, even though I look so crummy. Um, <laughs> love, light, and locks.